Okay, so you went to the store and there's no milk. No pot of milk in the store, no pot of milk on Amazon. Welcome to the Bear Pantry Show. If you're looking for authentic Belizean recipes, then you're in the right place. My name is Barbara and this is Cooking Made Simple. All right guys, so I have the heifer here. So he's gonna teach me how to make coconut milk. Remember the last time I taught him how to make black dinner? Well, now he's gonna teach me how to make coconut milk. I mean, I've seen him do it a lot of times that I think I can do it. So let's start with this. Your coconut, first of all, you need a brown coconut like this, all right? Not the one where the outside is white, the brown one. And the coconut has a face. So these to me look like the two eyes and this look like the mouth because this is bigger, but we don't know. So what you do is test. Oh yes, mm-hmm. We're gonna test like the scientists do, test. Get in there, clean it out so you can see right through. Pour out the water. So in this series, what I'm gonna do is make coconut milk, then we're gonna make coconut cream, and then coconut oil. Out of this one coconut, we're only gonna get a little bit, but bear with me, I couldn't afford five whole coconut, okay? But you're gonna get enough milk to last you three or four days if you don't make the cream out of it. So um, in the next video that follows like three videos, we're gonna make some coconut candy, but not from this brown coconut from a white one, from a young one, okay? We did that video back on March 9th. Okay, so we got some water. Joy, is this water good for drink? Mm -hmm. It's good for drink, okay. Good to make candy too? Mm -hmm. Like the stretch my guts? Okay. All right, so now it is said that the coconut have veins. I don't see no veins on this one, guys. Maybe if I wanna force and squint my eyes, I might see a vein going through his eyes right here. So grab the cleaver. Use the back end, don't use this end, okay, chop off your hand and start cracking. No, that's not working. <laughs> I'm gonna crack it anyway. Yeah, yeah, you gotta go higher. Higher? Like put the cleaver higher? Well, come in the picture. What are you hiding over there for? Right before you chop, me, so the <laughs> you chop off my face. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> okay, yes. Ooh, I could be in a lifetime movie. Mm. So okay, I don't know. Tell me. <laughs> what I'm saying, do you run around, sir? Oh, he chopped a little short chop. So, so it's easier to take. Out. No good. Oh, it's the no sirbe. It's not good, guys. Look. <sighs> I hate that when that happens. So we have one more. You want to open it and show it completely, my local? See, show that so right here, see how it's rotted in there? Ugh. And this coconut expensive? Okay, we have one more. I told him to pick up one more. Joshua, there's stuff on my lens. Are we gonna pause? Joshua's gonna clean the lens, and then we're gonna come back with the next coconut. Let's check this guy out again. So these two look like eyes to me. That looks like it could be the mouth. They look bigger, right? I was right again. Ah, can't turn it. This is Joe's theory. He says he feels like these storekeepers or maybe the people who sell them the coconuts don't allow the coconut to get brown in the shell inside that husk, inside that big green outer husk. They just get the white coconut, the one that we're gonna make candy from, and they sit it there on the shelf and it gets brown, right? Can that happen? Mm -hmm. That's Joe's theory. So no, he does little short chops. Okay, it's cracking. Dear Lord, please let it be good or else this video is done. You said keep kidding around, right? I'm good? <laughs> he sneezed. He better go away from here. Good? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. We can't even go to buy more stuff. Hello? Hello? Don't be pouring water over there. What do I need to do? The teacher, he know they teach me nothing. <laughs> the 
it's hurting, right? I want to see if I could get a piece out. He uses this knife. That's your right upside your head. Oh, yeah, I stabbed my hand. A lot of people from the Caribbean, other Caribbean countries tell us to like heat the whole shell up in the oven, then it release. I don't know why. I guess because we weren't brought up that way. You can do it if you want to. We just didn't like that. So just make sure you don't stab your hand, okay, and get the pieces out. This brown part's good. Leave that on. That's the hard shell. So we're just gonna get all these pieces out the shell. And when we come back, we're gonna be blending, okay? I'm gonna use my Nutribullet. I'm so glad that Joe helped me take on some of the coconut meat. So here we are. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it into smaller pieces. We don't have to dice it up, but just make the pieces smaller because it'll make it easier to blend. Now, if you were grating it on a grater, then leave the pieces bigger because you don't want to grate your fingers, right? So let me put it in my Nutribullet canister right here. Look, Joe brought me an apple. <laughs> I didn't have time to eat it yet. Let me put some of this water in here. Just a little bit to start. And then blend. This is the Nutribullet balance, okay? So it needs more water. I didn't want to put a lot of water to start because I didn't want to go past the fill line on the, the cup for the Nutribullet. Just blend some more. And when you think you're done, blend it some more. Okay. I didn't move the blender onto the big counter because being that we're shut in, everybody's making their meals all day long. Now they're gone. Yes, I get my kitchen back, guys. They're gone, they're in their rooms. Now let me put the other pieces in here. Put some more water and then just blend some more. So here's the rest of it. And then Joe told me to put two cups of water in here. So I do have a pack of these final disposable food gloves, but I don't use them too often unless I'm doing some type of catering type thing for family and friends. So I put one on not gonna waste two just in case and I'm gonna wash my hands because like I'm always telling you the only person protected by a pair of gloves is the person wearing the gloves all right because I can touch everything and don't wash my hands because I feel like oh I'm good because I have gloves on. so let's grab some of this coconut here and we're just gonna squeeze it through this strainer or sieve. Okay, let me get something to put my trash in or my flakes right here, see? Here we go. Can you guys see is this in the way? How beautiful that milk is. A little bit at a time. Now you can also put the milk through a cheesecloth or one of those nut milk bags if that's what you desire. But for coconut milk, it's not really necessary. It doesn't have that groundsy type feeling in it, okay? All right. So when I come back, we'll be doing the last little bit. I think we could also do this. Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. <laughs> we'll be back, guys. Take a look at it. To the naked eye, it looks pretty good, right? So I've decided I'm gonna test. Let's put it through a cheesecloth, through the strainer, and see if we get any remnants. We're getting some, look. Yeah. All right, I'm glad I did that. And of course you could strain it again if you want to. But I think we're good. But 
this here. Oh, let's see how much we got. Four whole cups. Take a look, guys. We got four cups. So I was going to take a little bit, but I want to take my thumbnail. So just let me taste it like this. I'm going to take a whole lot. I like it. You could add a little bit of sugar in there if you want, but I wouldn't because we're trying to avoid sugar, right? So this is the cheesecloth that I got from Walmart and they have different brands. I'm going to save the rest of this because I want to try a different milk in the very near future once I learn how to make it. So here we have it, coconut milk. So if you didn't get any powdered milk, any regular cow's milk, any lactose milk, almond milk, rice milk, whatever milk they have on the shelves and you didn't get any, make coconut milk, all right? So I'm going to go inside and take my thumbnail and then I'll see you guys either later today or tomorrow with another video showing you how to turn this milk into cream. Thanks guys. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you're seeing me on Facebook, don't forget to follow, like, and share the page. If you're seeing me on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the page. And if you want to see me on a different platform, come and join the membership at Patreon. It's patreon.com forward slash Bear Pantry Show.